Hey YouTubers, uh, we've got this old shed down in the garden, which I'm taking down at the moment and replacing with something a bit more um, up together. And um, the other day I came across this old fuse box. Um, well, I didn't come across it, I knew it was there and it was gonna have to be taken off the um, framework of the old shed. It was screwed up there. I had a dead mouse inside, poor little bugger. And um, yeah, so this was fairly standard in an old fashioned kind of way, looking from the outside. But when I, um, this armor cable here, if you're not familiar with armor cable, it's like a very tough electricity cable with galvanized, an extra galvanized layer of wires around the outside, all covered in plastic, which you can bury or uh, clip to um, a fence or something. And because it's got these extra galvanized wires protecting it, um, you um, can use, um, it stops people chopping through it accidentally with a strimmer or uh, a shovel or something if it's buried. So when I opened it up, I noticed that it didn't have an earth, which is peculiar. I don't think I've ever come across a mains electricity cable without an earth in it. And um, so I had to think about it. And although I'm not an electrician and uh, don't really know entirely what I'm talking about. Um, I think I figured out what's going on. So um, this isn't this isn't the one that comes down from the house, but this is a piece of armor cable which runs out to another shed in the garden. And as you can see, this is just temporary wiring until I get the new consumer unit sorted out. Um, this galvanized layer around here, that's what makes the armor. And then you've got your three cores. Now this one here, this this wire here, this is the one that comes down from the house. There's only got two cores in it. We've got a black and a red wire in there. And also obviously the galvanized um, wire sheath. And on, the, on I noticed on this old fuse box, you've got this special brass fitting on here, which I've never seen the likes of before. And when you put your armor cable in there, those galvanized sheath wires, you encourage those to just creep up on this knobbled area here and then obviously you've slid that over the cable. You slide that back up and they kind of clamp together. And because this bottom, um, this fuse box is made out of metal, and I don't know how good that contact is there and after 30 years, um, it, the, the, if it does, there is an earthing type situation, it will go travel through from the fuse box, uh, the earth block here into the metal, down here, down the galvanized wiring, um, back to the house where I guess it's earth properly. And um, so that's how that works. And I'm thinking, well, I don't really want to have to wire, dig up um, the wire, which goes all the way back to the house um, in order to put in a new one with an earth. I guess I could earth this consumer unit here in the shed with some kind of ground spike or something. Um, or I could just carry on using this brass fitting. So I've ordered a, a new consumer unit with a metal box. And when that turns up, I'm gonna have a look inside and see whether it might be applicable to reuse this fitting or maybe get another one. Um, and, uh, and go from there. But there you go. If you ever come across an armor cable with just two cores in it, it's very likely that the shroud the galvanized wires carry the earth, as is the case with this one. So I hope you found that useful. And, um, and just remember, I'm not a proper electrician, but uh, I expect if you did get a proper electrician in, um, they would probably want everything dug up and redone as new. So, um, and I can't really afford that. So there you go. I hope that's helpful to someone. Happy tinkering. Just remember to be super safe. Cheerio, bye.